Hi everyone, Papa Blue Shirt here. I want to talk to you about air conditioning your grow room today. The, the pros and the cons of it and what my experience has been with it. Stay tuned for this episode. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about my setup here. I have a grow room that is out in my my garage. I call it my warehouse. It's a metal building. The building is insulated and then my grow room is insulated inside that building. I had hoped I could grow lettuce and microgreens uh, throughout the whole year without having to have air conditioning in this room uh, because you know when you're growing things you want to do things as uh, economically as possible and uh, I started in September of last year and from September on I did I did halfway decent uh, I had my grow room vented into my shop and uh, I thought that would take care of any problems it, it did keep things under control in this room but what happened is it moved the problem from the room out into the shop and so my shop began to get real humid mold began to grow everywhere and uh, I was out there the other day and I said it was 99% humidity in there <laughs> and the, the thing wouldn't go no higher than 99 so you know I was looking forward to rain at any time <laughs> but uh so what I did is I put a dehumidifier out there I got that air dried up it's about 65% out there right now uh, I did order a new dehumidifier and uh but have to wait 24 hours before I can plug it in so uh, because of uh, you know because of shipping and uh, so they, have, they warn you to wait 24 hours you probably only have to wait for two that's usually all you had to wait but I guess they want to make sure they're completely completely covered anyways that's what I'm doing out there but here recently I installed an air conditioner in this room because it was 85 to 90 degrees in here and 85 percent humidity and it got to the point that I couldn't even hardly be in here and uh so uh, to keep lettuce growing, uh, you need to keep the temperature down. And uh, it did grow, but uh, it got kind of limpy and things like that. So I put the air conditioner on. I'll put a link to the video up above here. But uh, first time I put it in, I put it in like you would you know, normally with the air conditioner sticking out this far as this way, as far as it can. But my walls are eight inches thick, and so it only stuck out the back just a couple inches, and then it got hot in the opening. Uh, so I, what I had to do is I enlarged it and then pushed it back in. And so it's just, I put a one by four, and I uh, put a one by four around the outside, so it's like a window, and it sat back in there. But anyways, the main thing I wanted to talk about today is um, how often I have to have it on. You know, I figured because... Uh, you know, I'm out here and it's 85 degrees in this room. I'm going to have to run this air all the time, you know, just keep it down. But what's happened, and this has been really neat. I wish I would have done it a long time ago. I wish I would have thought about it. Uh, what happened is you have over here, I have, I have all my worm bins in these, in these trays. And what happens, so I have 36 bins here. I don't have them all full, but... A good portion of them are and what happens is the dirt in there cools down when the air's on and so then I can turn off the air and it stays cool in here I have a little fan down below here and I just blow across and it kind of blows up and it uses it like a heat sink the opposite of a heat sink uh, I, I don't know if you call uh, if you're trying to trap the cold if you call it a heat sink it'd be a, it'd be a cold sink I guess but uh, uh, what is what it does is it traps that 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 uh, temperature you know um, let me see what it is here the thermometer says it's 76 in here right now and let's see what this is 71 71 degrees and I imagine that as you get down further here yeah this one on the bottom here is 69 and so what it does is it traps all the temperature in those 
in those trays. It does the same with the soil in your in your microgreen trays, but they're a little bit warmer because of the lights. But uh, so I found that I could have that off even during the day with the lights on. I can have it off for two hours before it starts to warm up in here. And I may even go more than that. It's 105 degrees outside. Runs about, and I just took the temperature in the shop, it was 92 degrees in the, inside the shop. So the difference from this room to that room is 92, it's 92 in there and it's 76 in here right now. So almost 20 degrees difference. And uh, it'll slowly warm up and uh, it'll be 80 almost in here when it kicks back on. And at night, I find I can do it every three hours. I may even do it even longer than that, uh, especially as we get toward the fall when it's not so hot out. So what, I guess what I'm saying is I've only, I'm only having to run the air conditioner about eight to 10 hours a day. And the nearest I can uh, figure is that air conditioner costs me about a dollar a day to run. I have one of those little kilowatt things and took it and seen how much uh, power it was using and uh, so and that's a dollar a day if it runs continuously uh, and I'm running half the day or less than half the day so I mean, we're talking 15 cents a day which you're talking about $15 a month $15 a month to have a room that is a nice temperature that I can come in and work in is worth it's worth that much to me and uh, and so as, as I have it here uh, when we get to the cold months, I can take this out and uh, just put a window in there. I could put a screen in there. Uh, a lot of things I could do. A dehumidifier in here in the wintertime. The thing about dehumidifiers is they heat up the room. And, and uh, I had contemplated just putting the dehumidifier in here, but the room was already hot. So that would just make matters worse. But in the wintertime, when, it's not, when you don't care about the heat, uh, that might be an option, so I might bring one of those air, uh, dehumidifiers. I may bring one of those dehumidifiers out of the shop and put it in here in the wintertime uh, just to keep these two rooms always you know, separate. Uh, you don't realize how much humidity uh, a grow room can put in. You know, if you only have three or four trays, it's not going to be no big deal. And you, know, you put them in the basement of your house and uh, put them in a closet or something. As long as you get a little ventilation in there, you'll be fine. But I have like 30 trays that I uh, have running at times. And uh, it can be a lot. And then I have my worm bins also. I do cover my worm bins with the, with these little carpets. Show you over here. I bought these carpets. You can buy them at Dollar Tree sometimes. It's, they just have like a rubber back on them. And uh, that keeps the moisture inside the bin. So that really helps. I usually never have to water my worms because that keeps the moisture in there. Uh, usually before I harvest them, I have to leave the top off for like a month before it ever dries out enough where I can harvest. But yeah, so that's the experience I figured out with my air conditioner. I wonder why I waited so long. Probably because I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> it took me uh, about four hours, I guess, to figure out, get that cut in the wall and you know, it's a metal building, so that's always a lot of fun. And it had blown in insulation in the wall, and that was fun. And, you know, but yeah, now I got a nice room where I can work. It's not costing me very much to cool it. And so I'm really glad I did it. So if you're going to grow a, you know, any amount of, of microgreens, uh, you're probably going to need some way to uh, control the temperature. Uh, LED lights, you know, they run a lot cooler than other lights, but they still they still give off heat. Like if I look at the edge of this light here, it's 105. And I had one the other day that was a lot hotter than 105. 109. So they do give off heat, but nowhere near what a fluorescent or a halogen wood and uh so yeah so it's a lot a lot cool i wouldn't want to try to air condition this with uh with halogen lights but uh led lights it's it's not bad but it does heat up especially if you got the room insulated really good and i insulated this really good with the understanding that i would probably not have air or heat in here uh, i went through the whole winter with no heat um 
it get down to 50 in here and uh but that was cold as it would get so this year i'll probably put that uh dehumidifier in there and it'll bump the heat up a little bit but anyways if you're thinking about putting in an air conditioner in your grow room it's not that big a deal as long as you have it insulated and uh if you do like i do with my worms uh you can really get by uh you only have to run it half the day um, I, I contemplated what would be better to uh, have my lights on during the night when it's cooler outside and run the air during the day with lights off. But I figured out that with the lights off at night and it being cooler at night, then I can leave the air conditioner off longer at night. And when the lights are on, I need the air on anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, so it doesn't matter and plus i don't have to set my lights to come on at weird times <laughs> come out here in the dark uh, so right now i do it from noon until midnight is how long i have them have them going and like i said i only run the air for eight to twelve hours and uh yeah so alrighty. hope this was helpful this is papa blue shirt and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe